A rabbi will spend the rest of his life in prison for his role in a vicious double murder for hire plot in Newburgh. News 12 Carolyn Rowe has that story. It was like seeing a devil. It was. Um, I can't describe it in any other way, shape, or form other than feeling like looking into the face of death itself. That's how Tara Piscopo felt when she first saw Rabbi Victor Colton's picture on the news. Now, more than three years later, Tara went face to face with Colton in an Orange County courtroom as he was sentenced to life without parole for masterminding a murder for hire plot that left Tara's brother and uncle dead. They were the glue to the family. They really were. Francis Piscopo, a former police officer, and his nephew Gerald were both shot in the head in Newburgh in 2010. Prosecutors say Colton arranged to have Francis Piscopo killed to avoid paying a debt. They say Gerald was an innocent bystander. The two hitmen have already pled guilty. The Piscopo's loved ones spoke in court Wednesday about their pain, saying they have been given a life sentence, and so should Colton. The judge said Colton showed no remorse throughout the trial whatsoever and called the killings executions before issuing his sentence. Colton apologized to the victim's family in court and says he feels bad for them but says he's innocent of the charges. His posture is, was, and continues to be that he hired these two gentlemen to protect him. And while he feels badly that they overstepped what he had arranged with them, it was not his responsibility. The family of the two men say they can begin to heal now that they have justice. Very happy that, you know, he got what he was deserved. However, I'm not sure if we'll ever be fully healed. In Goshen, Carolyn Rowe, News 12.